Oh, look at the size of that fish. It's a nice one. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a nice one. Welcome to another episode of Bassin with Captain Lou. Guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Hope you guys had a great time with your families. I'm out in the marshlands again. Uh, there's a reason for it. So uh, stay tuned and let me see if I can uh, put a pattern together for you guys and explain why I'm here. So the challenge today is not necessarily catching fish because I've been catching fish. My challenge today is I want to catch the big fish. I mean, for me, the big fish are, are fish categories above six pounds plus. And uh, this area holds them. They are here and they're a lot bigger, um, but I'm looking for that big bite and it's, and it's becoming a little challenging. I've been out here now uh, for the last few weeks. I've seen them. I just haven't been able to coax them. So that's my challenge for myself today is I want to catch myself a nice, a nice bass and uh, I'm shooting for the six plus category. So stay tuned and let's see if I pull this off. There. And the bass, oh, bass are active this morning. Bass are active this morning. That's always a good sign. There he is. Oh, this is a better fish. There we go. That's how we like to start the morning. Yeah. Yeah. There's several duck hunters over there. When the sun gets a little higher, they'll move on out of here. As long as they direct their shots like that, I'm okay. I keep focusing my attention over there is because there's a big wake that every so often swims out. I, I can't identify if it's a tilapia yet, but it's, it's a big wake and this water is only about three feet or so. So whatever's causing that wake is pretty big. What I'm hoping is that it's a big, big female bass roaming around, deciding if she's, what she's gonna do. And they do that, they, they make these wide turns when they're like in, the, like in their spawning rituals and they'll make these wide turns and then they'll return back to the spot. Um, so maybe that's the case, but I'll get a little closer and see what happens. There he is. Ah, he's peeing. Little guy, but I think I stumbled across something. I'll share it in a little bit, stay tuned. There he is, that's a nicer fish. Oh man, that was a nice fish. Oh crap, that was a nice fish. Oh. There. Good <laughs> guy, chunky, needy. I'll take it. That was a better fish. There he is. Oh. 
Take it. There he is. Oh. Oh. Got to keep them up quick. I'll take it. We get pretty far. Oh. oh, that's a decent fish. That's a decent fish. Let's see if I can catch him. There's another fish right there. Oh, look at the size of that fish. It's a nice one. Oh, this is a nice one. 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 Oh. <laughs> so the big wake wasn't a tilapia. It was this guy. <laughs> nice fish. Holy smokes. Look at this beauty. Guys, I'm standing perfectly still because there's a very big bass in front of me here. She's very nervous, but this is a nice bass. The biggest I've seen around here in a long time. Oh my God. That wasn't the big one. The big one is underneath. Oh, these are some big bass, guys. Wow, two giant bass. Two giant bass. These are big guys. Collectively, 12 pounds of bass right there. They're just swimming in a lazy circle. Oh, I see what it is. It's two females around one buck. Yikes. They got a party going on. All right, so here's what's going on, guys. I've been standing, I've been staying here for the last 20 minutes. There are two big bass right behind the camera and one buck. And these females are my goal. Uh, they're a six plus pound bass, but they're in their mating ritual. So they don't want anything to do with me. So as much as it hurts me, I'm gonna have to move on and maybe find one that's uh, willing to, to go after one of my baits. But those two big girls over there, they want nothing to do with anything right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on. All right, so they're not deep in the deep water or suspended around the deep water. So I'm gonna have to go back into the marshes because they're shallow. Gotta get back into the shallows. There he is. So all clues lead to the marshes. I've been fishing the perimeter canal for a while and no luck whatsoever, no sniffs. But every time I start, I point into the direction of the marshes, I've been getting hit. So stay tuned. I got to go back in. So due to the vegetation, I'm going to, I have to physically work a little bit more today. Um, but that's okay. It's early. But uh, out here, you got to maneuver with a paddle sometimes just to get into more open areas. And although the vegetation can be thick at, at times, it's freaking awesome because it holds, it holds fish. But it also deters a lot of people from coming in here because of the volume of physical work that one has to do sometimes to get to these spots. So... Uh, Fortunately, I'm, I'm still physically able to do it, so here I am. So stay tuned and, and let's see what I find in here. There he is. My challenge continues and the fish are getting smaller. That's not a good sign. 
So anyways, what I've been doing is I've been going deeper into the marshes as, as much as the, my boat will allow. Um, my boat has its, has its pros and it has its cons. And uh, due to its shape and, and design, I can't go into thicker stuff unless I wanna physically kill myself and that's not the case. So uh, stay tuned as I get deeper and uh, the quest continues. There he is. Oh man, that was a hard, that was fast. That one came out of its perch for sure. Peeing buck. Look at that one. I love the coloration of these fish. They're so clean. There he is. Oh. No shortage of males, that's for sure. But those females, man, they are hard to find. There he is. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was funny. That was funny. I did the same thing I did on my previous video with this guy. I killed the swim bait and he just swallowed it. I gotta catch a bunch of those just to hit my goal. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am really okay with that. I'm having fun catching fish as I uh, as I hunt for the big one. Look at this next cast. It's like I caught its twin brother. <laughs> I caught its twin. Same spot weird <laughs> there he is Little bass becomes a heavy bass when it when you catch it in the middle of all this. Again, they're little, they're little. But like I said previously, I don't care. You got to get through these little ones to get the big ones. So, all right, gang, that's a wrap. Uh, I fell short of my goal. It happens. Uh, the big bass just never uh, never materialized, but I caught a mess of other bass in the process. Uh, but again, it wasn't for a lack of trying. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for taking the time to watching my videos. I really do uh, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, like this video, share this video, subscribe. Uh, you guys want to come out, out here with me and enjoy this beautiful, this beautiful place, aeguideservice.com. I'm going to try to get another video out before the year's over. But if I don't, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves. A productive way to head back to your vehicle is trolling. I've been doing this a few times now and it's, and it's, never, uh, and it's never failed. I always catch anywhere between three to four bass uh, just by simply doing this. It's so much fun. What you got to do is you got to be very careful they don't yank the rods out of your hands though. So trolling, check it out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> almost yanked the rod out of my hand he hit it so hard <laughs>